The other amendment that I filed today, co-sponsored by Senators Shelby, Nelson, and Sessions, also highlights the importance of water management. And the issue at hand there involves water that is naturally supposed to flow south, but it has not done so due to the Army Corps actions in and around the state of Georgia. The results of this mismanagement have led to a 2013 Department of Commerce fishery disaster. It was declared for oysters in the Apalachicola Bay. During that same year, Senator Nelson and I held a field hearing in Apalachicola, where we, held from local, where we heard from local fishermen whose livelihoods and family traditions were injured by the collapse of these fisheries. We must continue to explore ways to fish more sustainably. A large part of the fisheries collapse was the lack of freshwater flows. I have long supported the role governors played in water allocation when the water in question greatly impacts multiple states. However, absent such an agreement between governors, water continues to be withheld, and the situation has now become dire in my home state of Florida. The bottom line is that the status quo is only working for one state. I, along with the senior senator from Florida and our colleagues from Alabama, have stood lockstep to bring our respective states to the, able, to be, to the table to finalize water allocations that will take into account our shared goals. So today we filed an amendment to do just that, to require the governors to agree on water allocation before the Army Corps of Engineers can reallocate waters between the Apalachicola Chattahoochee Flint River Basin and the Alabama Coosa Tallapoosa River Basin. The amendment also stipulates no funds would be available for reallocation of water within the states if an agreement between the governors is not finalized. And I urge my colleagues to support this common sense measure.